the picturesque Parc des Eurs-Vives, quite a setting for the Bank Eric Sturzer Geneva Open. I'm really happy to be back. Uh, the sun uh, looking good so far this week. Very, very relaxing over here. Perfect conditions. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful here. Definitely living up to the hype. It might only be in its second year, but this exciting young tournament has traditional roots. Staged at the Tennis Club de Genève, the oldest and largest club in Switzerland has attracted an impressive field. This field is loaded with talent. You have the defending French Open champion playing here, David Ferrer is here, Marin Silic, myself. Second year that we have uh, Stan, uh, we're extremely uh, happy to have him uh, because uh, Stan uh, will produce exceptional tennis. Expecting a little bit more from the class season so far, but uh, it can always change. Uh, hopefully it's going to start this week. It's never easy, you know, you play in front of your home crowd, extra pressure, you know, and uh, that's the case with Stan. He wants to, 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 to play so well, he wants to make the every big ball uh, happy during the, the week. Lake Geneva was the location for top-ranked American John Isner and wildcard entry David Ferrer's pre-tournament press. The city's famous outdoor lifestyle at its very best. It's, it's amazing here. The city is great and this uh, and the park that we're playing in is beautiful as well. You can see the case of David Ferrer who didn't play so well for Rome and Madrid. He has for the wildcard because he wanted to play extra matches. Ferrer wasn't the only high-profile wildcard in the draw. Having recovered from a knee injury, Marin Cilic was moving well on the Geneva clay. Missed uh, all of the clay court swing and uh, definitely uh, wasn't easy sitting back home and I had to uh, recover from my uh, knee injury. But uh, at the moment everything is fine and uh, really looking forward to, to play this week. First impressions suggesting this special venue is a hit with the Americans in 2016. I saw John Isner arriving was with his coach and he said, wow, this is a very beautiful place. We all spoke to each other last year and uh, we thought it'd be interesting to, to come play here in Geneva. It's a city that none of us have, have ever been to. We're just like, oh, you know, we'll try something new and, you know, I think we're all super happy here. This is my first time in Geneva. I enjoy kind of just sitting by the window in the airplane and kind of seeing the sights as we fly in. It's beautiful, there's lots of practice courts, which is, you know, ideal the week before a slam. And one player, of course, who knows all about the run into Roland Garros, the defending French Open champion, Stan Vavrinka because it's in Switzerland for me, it's important uh, uh, to play. It's a week before Grand Slam. Uh, for sure, last year was something special. Uh, I was starting to play better and better, and when I arrived in French Open, I played an amazing two weeks there. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, roll on, roll on Garros. The 2016 French Open gets underway and double trouble. We speak to Spanish duo Feliciano and Mark Lopez. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com and chat with us on the ATP's official social network, MyATP, powered by Vixlet, and on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. See you next week. <laughs>